an Xbox. Have you been wanting to stream but you don't have a gaming PC? Well, I have some tips for you to help you with that. Things you'll need. An Xbox. A Apple MacBook Pro. And an Xbox controller. That's really all you need. You also need a stable internet connection. Now we are going to jump into the computer and I'm gonna walk you guys through on what you need to download and everything else that you might need. You'll also need a camera. You can either use a webcam that you buy from Walmart or you can even use the webcam that is built into your computer or you can use what I use. I use a Sony 6100 or you can use one of these. These work really well. All right, now let's jump into the computer and I will walk you guys through everything else you need to know how to stream from your Xbox and your MacBook Pro. Okay, so here we are in the computer. The first thing you want to go to is onecast.me and I'll have all the links down in the description below. You will go to onecast.me and you'll just click download for Mac and then it will walk you through the download. It's pretty simple. And just a heads up, with this is it's a 14 day free trial and then after that you can buy the the software for twenty dollars and it's a one-time payment and that's all just a one-time twenty dollar payment so after you do that you'll download it but once you get into obs mac is super weird about the audio and everything so you'll actually have to download another program called I show you audio capture and depending on what operating system you have there is a Mojave and a Catalina version so you'll kind of need to keep in mind what operating system you have but once you download the I show you audio capture you need to go into your you want to hit command space and do your MIDI your audio MIDI setup and you want to actually create a multi-output device and as you can see here i have the i show you audio capture and this my scarlet audio interface and you want that you want the i show you audio check marked just so the audio can be recognized in OBS. So depending on what OBS you're using, I use Streamlabs OBS, you will need to go into the audio setting and then you will go to the mic slash auxiliary device one and you'll actually set that as I show you audio capture in order for OBS to even recognize the audio. Okay. And then once you have all of that, you'll want to pull up the OneCast app. Once you open up the OneCast app, you will, this will this should pop up on your screen. And since mine's already connected, it, it pulls up my gamer tag and everything else. And then you'll just hit connect. And you wanna have your Xbox on at this point and it already loaded up or else it'll say disconnected or it can't be read. So I'm gonna go ahead and click connect. Okay, there we go. So as soon as you click connect, the Xbox should automatically come up onto your screen. And that's really all you need to do. And from here, you can stream to Twitch, Facebook, and everything else that you could with a normal gaming PC. So you just wanna pull up a game. That's really all you need to download for the OneCast and OBS. So if you don't have OBS, just go ahead and download that. That's a quick download as well. So yeah, I hope that was helpful for you guys. It's been a game changer for me because I've been wanting to stream for a while, but I just never had a gaming PC. So I did a deep dive because at first I was just streaming to Twitch directly from my Xbox, but I wasn't able to keep track of the chat or anything unless it was on my phone. So I did a, some research and I found OneCast 
and the I show you audio. If this was helpful for you guys, I would appreciate if you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos like this. And I have another one, another similar video coming in the next couple of weeks. I'm not sure when I'm going to film it, but I have another helpful video kind of similar to this. So yeah, I post videos here every Sunday. If you guys liked what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Thanks, guys.